Welcome to Misfit Muse. I'm Erin, and this is my dragicorn or unidragon. I haven't really figured that out yet. I'm not sure which one I like better. Let me know down in the comments what you think we should name her. I'm going to start out with my jumbo white eye pencil to sketch out the details. I like to do it this way because when I make a mistake or inevitably change my mind, it's easy to wipe away and redraw. I'm making some scales in freehand in an asymmetrical pattern. I want it to look organic and not too much like there's a pre-planned pattern here. I'm sketching out some rough details on my face that I will later change up a little bit. And as soon as I am done and have something to my liking, I'm going to block out my brows. I'm gonna start with a spoolie and a little bit of a dewy finish setting spray. I find that when my brows are damp, they take the glue better and lay flatter. So I'm using a washable school glue to put a few layers down initially. Then once I have that in my brows, I'm gonna go back in with a metal spatula and really pack a lot of that glue into the brows so that we can erase them completely. I will clean up the edges with a wipe so that I don't get any funky texture when I go to paint. I cover them up with concealer and this is going to become our base for color correcting. I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette in the orange and yellow just to create some of that color correction for my next layer. I know it looks a little bit silly here, but this works really amazing for getting rid of that shadowy effect. So now I will cover that up with foundation that just matches my skin tone. Blend it out a little bit with a cosmetic wedge. And finally, when I am done with that, I will go over it with a generous amount of setting powder just to make sure that it's not tacky when we go in to draw some more details and start painting. I'm gonna black out my chest now with a silver metallic body paint. And I decided to use this small brush to fill in the entire area, even though it was more time consuming because I really liked the texture that it was giving and the opacity that I was able to achieve with this brush. Then I'm gonna take a light blue water activated body paint and start filling in around the scales. This blue color is going to become the main color of my dragon's unicorn skin. Um, I've also gone ahead and already applied pasties. Now you'll see my horn that I sculpted out of a lightweight model magic. And I'm gonna trace out where it's gonna go on my head so that I know where not to put paint since I will be applying a skin safe adhesive there later. I'm gonna go in with a white water activated body paint now and fill in all of those scales. This is gonna act as a blank canvas for the colors that we're eventually gonna add on top here. I'm gonna fill in everywhere that I can and that means even getting all the way up into my hairline and in my ears. So now I'm going to take NYX suede matte lip liner in a purple and I'm gonna start sketching out the chest and the details on there some more. I'll go back into that same palette and use the purple. It's a kind of a cross between a purple and a pink and it works perfectly in this case for shading I'm gonna take some more of that setting spray on my brush. I really like to use a setting spray on my brush when I'm using a metallic pigment. So I'm going in with Mermaid by NYX, and then I will go into the darker green from that Ultimate palette to create some shadows and highlights within the different scales. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna repeat that process with the liner 
and the purple and pink colors and then again with the orange and the yellow from the palette so I'm really creating some depth in the scales by adding the darker colors to the outer and upper parts of the scales and then adding the highlight colors within those scales I'm gonna really keep building that color until it has the dimension that I really want I'm also going to be using blue jeans which is sort of a periwinkle shimmer to shade in the blues. I'll go back into that Ultimate Edit palette and use the blue to contour my face and all around the chest plate. I'm gonna use this purple liner again to outline my nose and then I'll be filling it in with purple and pink to give myself a cute little dragon unicorn nose. The Holographic Halo Setting Powder is perfect in this case for highlighting. You'll see that I went ahead and painted my chest and abdomen off camera. I'm gonna also use that to highlight my nose and then let's go in with a little. I'm using the Pigment Primer to lay down a base on my eyes since I'm going to be going in with a loose pigment. It really helps it stick and blend evenly. I'm gonna be using more of a packing motion rather than a sweeping motion for this because I want the pigment to stay as bold as possible here. So now I'll use NYX Slip Tease with the Duochromatic Lipstick in Gypsy Dreams on top. I'm just gonna continue to add dimension by adding shadows anywhere I see fit here with the different colors. I'm gonna line my inner waterline with that same white pencil, and then start filling in the creases with that blue again. So I'm gonna take NYX Glitter Primer and apply that all over my crease and up into that wing, and then add some chunky glitter. I'm gonna use that same chunky glitter and glitter primer all the way down the chest plate. And then I'm going to start adding my dragon horns. So I actually sculpted these right on my head because I thought that that worked best and this is lightweight enough that I am able to do that. So now I'm gonna be attaching the horn using a skin safe adhesive. I'm gonna wrap my hair around the horn and secure it with a bobby pin. This is just gonna make it look more like the horn is really coming out of the center of my head. It's also gonna help secure the horn. <laughs> and there is my crazy beautiful unicorn dragon hair. <laughs> I decided I didn't want it too styled. I wanted it to be a little bit messy since I'm sort of my own creation. I'm applying some lashes now and then I'll apply some more of that NYX glitter primer and that chunky glitter around the base of my dragon horns just to sort of blend them better into my skin. some face jewels and now all I need are some wings if you liked this video or just think I'm ridiculous go ahead and hit that like button please subscribe and turn on the bell notification because there is a lot coming up